What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel for another GeForce Now News Thursday. And we're going to round out March here with the 11 games for this week. I'm going to bring you the 23 game roadmap for April. And we're going to have a couple other things to go over here as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing is Ultimate Members, finally, for us in the Northeast, waiting for the Newark server to go live. That's happening now. So that's the 12th city to complete its RTX 4080 SuperPod upgrade. And that's the one I've been waiting for so I can get into some more LDAT latency testing and that type of thing because that's typically my closest data center and the one I always tested the 3080 on. So really happy to see that going live. And for anyone else that's been waiting on that, our Northeast server should be going with the 4080s. We also have some reassurance from the GFN team that along with Microsoft, they are working to bring the first batch of Xbox first party games over to GeForce now. So everyone hang on there. That deal wasn't announced that long ago and they did say it would take quite a few weeks before the first games showed up, but they're definitely working on this in the background. And as soon as those first batches of games start to land, you'll find out right away here, especially on GFN Thursdays. All right, guys, but with those couple of things out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the 11 games we've got for this week, and then we'll take a look at your April roadmap. Our first game for this week is a new release for Steam for March 27th, Nine Years of Shadow, which is a side-scrolling Metroidvania-style game. Travel alongside Europa, a brave warrior determined to enter the mechanical giant Talos and stop the corruption within before it swallows the world in darkness. And next up, we have another new release for Steam with March 28th with Terra Nil. Terra Nil is an intricate environmental strategy game about transforming a barren wasteland into a thriving, balanced ecosystem. Bring life back to a lifeless world by purifying soil, cleaning oceans, planting trees, and reintroducing wildlife, then leave without a trace. And our third game for this week is another Steam new release for March 29th with Gripper. Gripper is a story-driven action game with boss fights on wheels. Tear your enemies apart with a grappling hook, rip out their mental hearts to gain abilities, rescue your family, and uncover the secrets of the collapsing world. And next up, we have another Steam new release for March 29th with Small Land Survive the Wilds. Experience a big adventure on a tiny scale. Enjoy multiplayer survival in a vast, hazardous world. Preparation is key when you're this small and at the bottom of the food chain. Craft weapons and armor, tame and ride creatures, build encampments, and explore a strange new land. And our fifth game this week is another new release over on Steam for March 30th with Dredge. This is a single player fishing adventure with a sinister undercurrent. Sell your catch, upgrade your boat, and dredge the depths for long buried secrets. And next up, you guessed today, another new release for Steam for March 30th with Ravenbound. And this game actually gets my interest just a little bit. Fear everything and nothing for death brings you closer to victory in this challenging open world action roguelite. As the vessel of an ancient power, you must use steel and skill to complete your mission in a dangerous fantasy world inspired by Scandinavian folklore. And just from looking at the trailer and kind of becoming a fan of roguelites lately, this actually looks like it might be a pretty decent title to check out. And next up, we have another new release for Steam for March 30th, and this is The Great War Western Front. The Western Front's a definitive World War I strategy game, plays a deciding role in history with this real-time tactical experience as you take charge in the iconic Western Front from 1914 to 1919. And next up, another new release for Steam for March 31st with Troublemaker Raise Your Gang. Grab a backpack, boxing tape, and focus on what high school is all about. Beating the ever-loving crap out of one another, Troublemaker blends favorite action-adventure beat-em-up elements from the strongest traditions in the genre. And next up, we have another fairly new release here for Steam for March 22nd with Have a Nice Death. Have a Nice Death is a 2D action roguelike where you play as an overworked death whose employees have run rampant, completely throwing off the balance of souls and his vacation plans. In order to restore order, you'll have to grab your trusty scythe and show your employees who's boss. And our 10th game on the list this week is a free-to-play title that launched last year in October of 2022 over on Steam and that's Tower of Fantasy. Embark together on your fantasy adventure, set hundreds of years in the future on a distant planet of Ada. The shared open-world RPG, anime-infused sci-fi adventure Tower of Fantasy is now officially available on Steam and GFN. And our 11th and final game this week is Tunchi. This is over on the Epic Game Store and came out in November of 2021. This is a being of great power has gone mad and now evil creatures are taking over the jungle. Help Rumi and her friends uncover the truth behind Tunchi's actions and restore peace in the Amazon in this charming roguelike action game. 
All right, guys, that's the 11 games that round us out for March. But what about the April roadmap? I'll go ahead and list those games out here for you now. And of course, we'll cover them closer every week. And usually there's some surprises that show up there. So here's a list of games. Meet Your Maker, Road 96, Terrascape, Curse of the Sea Rats, Raven's Watch, Supplice, D-Exit, Eternal Matters, Survival, Fountain of Youth, Tin Hearts, Dead Island 2, After Image, Roots of Paca, Bramble the Mountain, 1111, Memories Retold, Canverse, Teardown, Get Even, Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares 2, Dark Pictures Anthology, all four games, Man of Man of Medan, Little Hope, House of Ashes, and The Devil in Me. So those are all the games that we know for sure coming in April. And I think Dead Island 2 for me is going to be the one that sticks out. Kind of looking forward to jumping into that one. It's been a long time coming for that sequel. But anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up your news for this week. We've got all 11 games for this week. We've got the 23 game roadmap for April. I'm definitely looking forward to Dead Island 2. I'll keep you guys updated every single week about the Xbox games. And as soon as those drop, you'll see that here. Those around the Newark area waiting for that Northeast server, we're finally going to be in. I know I've been waiting a while for that one, so that's exciting to see there. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks a lot for coming and check out the video as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you